Would it be bold for me to say Vivi is better than 90% of the shows you've seen? What? I didn't expect to say that myself. Lately I've been on an anime slump where I've been mainly reading more mangas than watching animes. Hence my last video. Shameless plug. That's not to say we haven't gotten anything new. In fact, lately we've been getting too many good shows in one season. Keeping up and trying to watch every show is kind of overwhelming. Especially when you see comments like this on a really good show. Wait one saga? More like... <coughs> Farmland saga. <laughs> but there has only been one show able to keep my attention. One show that left so much of an impact on me. One show that already released, but that one show would be Vivi Fluorite Eyes Song. So what makes it so special? Why is it rated so highly by everyone? And why do I think you should watch it? Well, we could start by saying this show has some of the most jaw-dropping, eye-catching visuals I have ever seen. Questions that leave you questioning. Do AIs have the capacity for a soul? Action scenes that makes you want to get up and throw a chair. Shout from the top of your lung. Chuck a baby and suplex your grandpa. Kick your dog and run over a lamppost. Run to the nearest store and- Yeah, so... The newest Tesla feature is that the seat will take a high resolution scan of your balls. You can then use your ball print to biometrically unlock and start the car. Recall the yeah, there is no way this is real. So AI has been blowing up lately, both in the news and in real life applications. Deep fake technology is incredible. It's brought us lifelike versions of Tom Cruise doing coin tricks. You've probably seen Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld co-starring in Pulp Fiction. It can be amusing and funny. It can also be really creepy and dark. Over these past few months, the discussion of AI has been on a constant rise. I small one may regard that probability, but it is non-trivial. It has the potential of a civilizational destruction. A new so-called Drake track has just dropped. The good news, it includes a guest spot with The weekend. But the bad news is, it's not really them. First it was auto two, now it's artificial intelligence. This recipe was entirely generated by artificial intelligence. If your work so much as exists online, it will be found and it will be used in a piece of AI art. And we as artists are not being protected. The Biden administration asking the public for help regulating artificial intelligence after a bot laid out plans to destroy humanity. AI? has evolved in a way none of us would have imagined. They now have the abilities to perform deep fakes, hold morning, conversations, Anna. create art, nice music, to meet you again, anime. Jack. It's all becoming endless, leaving many wondering, are AIs becoming too smart? And would they ever take over the world? Is the topic of Vivi. Vivi is a story that takes place in the future, mainly two timelines. In their world, AIs are essentially a part of everyone's day-to-day -day life. They clean, work at kiosks, and every single one of them are programmed to complete one task that they call missions. Vivi, on the other hand, is different in a way. She's known as a first humanoid AI, meaning she has her very own thoughts in mind. Her mission is to make people happy with her singing. In the future, a malfunction would occur that triggers every AI into going against humans. This malfunction would cause them to attack everyone in the most gruesome way possible. Luckily, a scientist from the future would create this tiny bear named Matsumoto and send him back into the past before the events unfolded. That bear would find his way to Vivi and show her the events that would unfold in the future. And together, the two of them would partner up to stop the progressions of AIs and stop the huge uprise from ever happening. That's kind of the short synopsis of what the story is about. We've seen this layout play out in many different stories before. Time traveling is a genre that never seems to get old, no matter how many times we see it. It allows us to take a look and see what life was or is like in the past, present, and future, leading to some pretty interesting stories. Tokyo Revengers, Steins Gate, ReZero. We're gonna come back for this later. Changing something from the past can lead to dire consequences in the future. And that's no different when we talk about Vivi. Throughout the story, we see her jump through various timelines and in each event, they face new challenges. The show is told in the span of 100 years, but everything is cramped into 13 episodes, making you feel like everything should be told at a hyperbolic speed. But it's done in a way that just makes sense. Everything just flows nicely. What made this show so special in my eyes were its characters. She is born with a mission like every other android. 
but we get to witness her reason for living transform in front of us. Vivi is constantly forced into making decisions that conflict against her programming, which eventually leads her to question her purpose, the nature of her soul, and what it means to pour your heart into something. This is the question that ultimately changes her and she finds the answer and the trials she faces, the experience of loss, and the people who impact her within these glimmers of time she explores. This show constantly enforces the idea that change doesn't happen alone. So naturally, the show has a brilliant cast outside of Vivi, who led her to different points on this journey of self-discovery. This guy has reasonable motive for hating AIs. He swears revenge and dedicates himself to the annihilation of all advanced AIs. Ophelia is able to think freely and is similar to Vivi. Her mysterious death ignites conflict between two rival factions, debating over whether an AI can commit suicide without emotions and what amount of emotion makes AI deserving of right. Grace is an AI whose mission is to nurture humans, almost like a nurse or mother. In doing this, she unexpectedly manages to learn what love is and even gets married. Every character has a distinctive design to them and the story has layers and layers and layers put onto it. The creator knew exactly how to reach inward to make us emphasize and question our own missions. All of the effort they put in radiates within their carefully created characters. Speaking of creators, Vivi Flory Eyes was made by two people, one of which I'm sure you're familiar with. Eiji Umehara, who is a scenario and script writer, and Tepe Nagatsuki, who is famously known for his past works like ReZero. Together, the two of them paired with Wet to create a show like no other. Wet is known for having made some of the most well-known and drawn-out fight sequences. From Attack on Titan's ODM gear, to Vinland Saga's dark and gritty kills, to Seraph of the End, they're known for having some of the best animations out there. So when it came to the likes of making Vivi, man did they not disappoint. She parries the bullet, zigzags left and right, slices his arm off, and uses his own hands to shoot himself. She throws Masamoto as a way to distract him, gets up close, parries his shot, and sends him flying. Pause. To say the fight in this show are generic would be a total lie. Each fight is done with great deals of detail. I genuinely feel goosebumps shivering down my arms whenever I watch any fight. Vivi has some of the best hand to hand fight sequences and is up there with other great shows. A combination of the OST used and the way music is incorporated in each fight meshes together so well. It adds a layer of stakes and intensifies every fight. Aside from that, the artwork really speaks for itself and is equally just as amazing as the animations. There's a lot of details to the character designs and backgrounds and the hyper detail zoomed in shots are pieces of art. I mean seriously, just look at this. Vivi is more profound than just great animations and drawing. It's a show that takes us into Vivi's journey about herself. We experience her feelings, passion, and even watch her develop a heart. It's an underappreciated show that was released during the spring of 2021 and found itself being overshadowed by a lot of other shows. I think everyone initially skipped on it, thinking that it was going to be a generic idol anime, but it's way more deep than you could imagine. Everyone should at least give it a shot. It's really short and it's one of my all-time favorite original animes out there. 9.5 out of 10. Seriously, give it a watch. Also, the OST slaps. particular testicular detection.